Hey guys, I'm so happy you stopped by. Today I have three gnomes that I made with Dollar Tree supplies and I used a few things from my stash too. I'm starting the butterfly gnome by using the wings headband. For the beard, I'm using some troll hair and I found both of these in the toy department. I'm going to make the body out of this Dollar Tree striped sock. I'm making my gnomes from things that I had on hand, so I'm going to use the bottom part of this round gift box. These accents are completely optional, but I'll be using the outside petals of these daisies, along with some of these yellow flowers that I'll also be using for the bumblebee. You'll need some paint for the nose, and stuffing for the hat is optional. I'm using the table tennis ball as a nose for all three projects. You'll need something to weigh down the body, so I'm using these white Dollar Tree stones that I had on hand. I cut my hat pattern in a point. It's 18 inches long and 8 inches wide. You'll also need some fabric. If you don't have any on hand, you can always use a Dollar Tree dish towel. Using my hat pattern, I cut the fabric out on the reverse side. I folded back the edges and I hot glued the two pieces together on the seam. After doing one side, I did the other and you leave the bottom open. I do have a sewing machine which would make this a little easier, but I thought I would do all three of these gnome projects with my glue gun. Once the two sides were complete, I folded over the bottom edges and made a slight hem and attached those to each side with my glue gun. Once the glue had set, I then turned the hat inside out and set it aside. I'm using my yellow paint and painting the ball, which will become the nose. I'm using the bottom part of this round gift box as the base. For the butterfly's body, I'm using this pretty pink and white striped sock and simply sliding it over the base. I'm adding about a half a cup of the white rocks to weigh it down. Once I was done, I sealed the opening with my glue gun. Once I removed the troll hair from the package, I then removed it from the headband. I then used my hot glue gun and attached it to the front of the butterfly's body. Now that the beard's in place, I'm attaching the nose in the center. Adding the hat is a personal preference. You can attach it as is or you can add some filling. I'm going to add some filling to mine. Once I was done, I attached it to the top of the gnome's head using my glue gun. After the sides of the hat were attached, I then attached it to the nose. I removed the antennae and the wings from the butterfly headband. To attach the wings to the butterfly, I placed a line of hot glue on the side and then simply attached the wings. I decided where I wanted to place the little green antennae and then I hot glued them into place. I'm using the petals from these daisies and from these yellow flowers as accents. I put a small slice on the side of each flower and then slipped it over the antenna. Then hot glued it into place. Once the daisies were attached, I then attached the yellow flowers. I'm going to add an accent to the top of the butterfly's hat, but once again, this is completely optional. I had this little palm left over from a Dollar Tree hat, so I thought that I would attach it to the top. To finish up the butterfly project, I placed a little hot glue on the side of the hat and then angled it to one side. Your butterfly is now complete. To make this little gnome in a bathtub, I'm starting with this plastic bathtub that I found in the toy department at Dollar Tree. You'll need one face cloth from the two pack and I chose blue because it's my favorite color. I'm using 14 strands from this Dollar Tree mop head. 
For the gnome's body, I'm using this white sock. As a filler for the gnome's body, I'm using these vanilla scented bath salts. I'm using these foam letter stickers that I found in the craft department. Every tub needs a yellow duck, so I'm using one of these snack clips. I'm going to use this extra large craft stick as his feet and one of the table tennis balls as his nose. You'll need a little stuffing for the hat and some of these Dollar Tree pearls as the bubbles in the tub. You'll need a pipe cleaner and some paint for the nose. Along with something to embellish the hat, I'm using these little sprigs of flowers and this sheer white ribbon. Using my blue letters, I'm spelling out the word bath on the side of the tub. To make the gnome's body, I'm filling the white sock with the bath salts. To tie off the end of the sock, I'm using a ponytail band. Once done, I check the fit in the tub. To make the beard, I'm using 14 strands from this mop head. Once cut, I lie them all in a row and make sure they're as even as possible. I fold one over to find my center and then run a line of hot glue right down the middle. Using a pipe cleaner or a piece of string, you're going to lie it across in the hot glue. Then take one side of the mop strands and flip them over the other. With that done, all you need to do to make the beard is unravel each of the strands. With the beard complete, all you need to do is give it a little trim. Once your gnome's in the tub, you can always custom fit the beard. Before I place the sock in the tub, I'm going to cut the excess and tie it into a knot. Once that's complete, I place the sock into the tub. I cut off the excess ends of the pipe cleaners and I hot glued the beard onto the sock. The craft stick is going to become the gnome's little feet. I placed it in the end of the tub and marked it. I cut it and matched up the other side and made two feet. Now all you need to do is paint the two pieces and the nose. Once the nose is dry, I'm hot gluing it to the center of the beard. I'm gluing a little bit of polyfill to the top of the gnome's head. To add the towel hat, I'm folding one of the corners to the center. I tucked a little of the folded corner under the gnome's head. I wrapped one side of the towel over the other and then secured them together with some hot glue. I then hot glued the towel to the side of the gnome's beard. I hot glued the underneath of the towel and then I hot glued the towel to the nose. I twisted the remaining piece and attached it to the side of the tub. To add his feet, let me tell you, I am no artist. So all I did was take a pencil and draw some little lines onto the ends to resemble Tootsies. And then I used my scissors to cut them and hopefully they resemble feet. Once I was done, I hot glued them into place. I separated the duck clip and I'm going to add it to the tub. Once again, I used my hot glue to secure it into place. To add some bubbles, I'm using these Dollar Tree pearls. I randomly added them to the tub. Once I was done, I hot glued some of the beads together. I'm adding three flower sprigs as an accent. I made a little accent bow out of the ribbon. I then added the flowers and the ribbons to the hat. Once you're done, your gnome is ready to soak in his bubble bath.
For the bumblebee gnome, I'm recycling the bottom half of one of the round gift boxes. I placed a handful of rocks that I found in my yard inside to weigh it down. I'm using an old black sock as his body. I'm using another ball as his nose. For the accents, I'm using the bumblebee headband and also one of the skirts and I found these in the toy department. You'll need a little more of the filling and you'll also need some paint. Once again, I'm using some of the mop strands as the beard and you'll also need a pipe cleaner. I'll be using this black and yellow ribbon and some of the flowers from the earlier project. We'll be using some of the same flowers. You're going to need a piece of wire. I'm going to use the flower stem. My rocks are already inside and so I'm slipping the black sock over the base. We're using the bumblebee skirt as his hat so you need to disassemble it. I rolled the body across the length of the fabric one and a half times. I then cut it and made a second matching piece. I want my hat to be tall, so I placed one piece of fabric on top of the other, matched up the lines, and then hot glued the fabric together. I folded the fabric in half on the reverse side, and I'm hot gluing the two seams together. Once the glue sets up, then turn it inside out. We're making the beard exactly as we did for the bath gnome, and this time I'm using about 20 strands from the mop. After it's put together, you once again pull the strands apart. When I was done, I cut off the excess pipe cleaner, then hot glued it to the form. I then gave it a little trim. I painted the nose with my yellow paint. I'm using the stem from my flower to support the height in the hat. I cut a small hole in the top back of the gnome's head. I hot glued the wire and inserted it into place. I attached the nose to the beard. I then slipped the hat over the wire. With the hat in place, I then attached it to the nose. Once the nose was in place, I then attached the hat to both sides. Once that was done, I attached it to the back. Then using some of the filler, I stuffed the hat. I wanted my hat to be thinner at the top than at the bottom, so using my glue gun, I just pinched some of the fabric together and attached it. I made other gnomes with Dollar Tree supplies, and I'll link that video below in case you'd like to check it out. To finish the top, I folded over the edges and glued them together. Attaching the antennas, I poked a hole in the fabric with my scissors and then just slipped them in. I'm adding a little yellow flower accent onto the bumblebee just like I did on the butterfly. I'm making an accent bow out of the black and yellow ribbon for the top of the hat. I bent the hat into the position that I liked and then I added the bow. To finish the project, I found this little tin bumblebee in my stash and I added it to the bow. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope you had fun making these gnomes. If you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to come back and hang out with me again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.